What is the biggest mistake that fishermen make fishing in this cold, cold weather? And I say that as I'm out here on a spectacular 70 degree day. <laughs> Good morning, guys and girls. February 1, the first day of the shortest month of the year. Okay, did y'all ever get on to me about ragged on February? I got on to February, and all of you had a birthday during February, or at least most of you had a birthday during February, reminded me that you wouldn't be here had there not been a February. You were born on February. Some of you were born Valentine's Day, February 14th. But, uh, so... <laughs> And so I, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. February is a great month after all, a great month after all. But can I tell you, had there not been a February, had we just go to January to March, you still would have been born. Your birthday would have just been in March instead of February. But anyway, February is another great month. It's just like all the months. It happens to be the shortest. And if you happen to be born on January 29th, uh, you only gain one year every four. So you can be like... 60 years old and you're still a teenager. That's great, isn't it? Isn't that fantastic? That's a pretty cool deal right there. This is the, the fourth day of incredibly fantastic weather. Uh, 70 degrees, 68, 69 degrees, 72, 73 degrees, just a little windy, but we have a front coming that's amazing. In fact, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take off uh, take off tomorrow and, uh, and and head on over toward Crothersville, Missouri for that big grizzly jig distributor show and get out in front of the ice and snow. We're supposed to have ice and snow uh, here over here on Lake Ten Killer, six to 10 inches down at the ranch, uh, maybe five or six or seven inches snow and ice. The ice part of it is bad and I'm gonna try to get out in front of it, actually spend one more extra day traveling just to make sure that I can be there at that distributor show on Thursday night and then be in Chattanooga on uh, Saturday night for our church appearance there on Chatt in Chattanooga. So uh, on Saturday night, I work, work Friday uh, at the distributor show and then Saturday night at the church. But uh, so it's shirt sleeve weather, it's fantastic weather. Uh, I might even try to get out there and see if I can catch a fish or two, I don't really know. But, uh, but I apologize for all of you that were born. And by the way, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. Be sure you get something special and do something special for your Valentine because it's just a couple of weeks away. We're looking at 1 Thessalonians, reading out of our uh, Catch a Better Life book. This book will definitely make your life better. One of the best self-hook books, books you could ever have because it starts the day out with a word from God. That word from God is from 1 Thessalonians 4.16 and it says the Lord himself, that's Jesus Christ, will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God. And he's gonna be bringing all of his angels with him. Here's what I wrote about that. This is pretty good. We used to start bass tournaments with a shotgun blast. That's right. This, and man, it was ever exciting. A guy would ride by in a big cowboy hat and he'd shoot a gun up in the air and everybody would take off. When that gun went off, 150 to 200 boats or more went roaring off in every direction. I've seen boats swamped. I've seen boats run together, bang together. Sometimes guys shoved their throttle down so hard when that gun went off, it broke their throttle off. They couldn't even shut their boat off. They just had to drive around until they run out of gas. And uh, I mean, it was exciting, it was exciting. Guys run together, crash together. And sometimes when you get on a lake like Lake Millwood, we took off down at the dam, which is a big wide open body of water. But they had boat lanes cut in the trees back then, and you had to go in these boat lanes. And they were about a mile or a mile and a half away to the first boat lane, two miles maybe. So all these boats are running as fast as they can and, and funneling down into that one boat lane that was about a, wide enough for three or four boats. And that's when it got exciting. That's when it got exciting. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, no other way to say it. And the crazy ones was the guy holding onto those steering wheels driving those boats as fast as they would go. Fortunately, back in those days, we was limited to 150 horsepower motors, so they'd only run about 62 or 63 miles an hour, not 70 plus like we run today. And today's scripture is all about a shout that's heard around the world by billions. That's right, billions of people will hear Jesus when he descends and has that mighty shout. All over the world, all over the world at the same time, heard by billions, basically everyone living will hear that shout. That shout will bring fear, it will bring trembling to every single person on earth. But that will be quickly, quickly replaced by wonderful joy 
for those of us caught up in the clouds to meet Jesus. That's right. As I understand it, Jesus will not set foot on this earth. He'll simply descend down and then we will meet him in the air. He won't come down and say, okay, Jimmy, come on, you're one of mine. We will float up into the air and meet him. Uh, there's an old Christian comedian, I think his name was Mike Warnke, that used to talk about when the rapture happens, he said, the first thing I'm gonna do when I start to rise is I'm gonna grab me a couple sinners and I'm gonna grab them and start carrying them with me. And I say, do y'all repent or do I turn loose? <laughs> A lot of people will be repenting that day. A lot of people will be asking Jesus Christ that they're looking up into the sky at to save them. It'll be too late. It'll be too late. Think about that. Just think about it. Hundreds of thousands, perhaps even millions of born again Christians, believers leaving this earth to be with God in heaven. Just look up. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. We don't know the time or the date of that when Jesus Christ walked the earth. He said he didn't even know. Only the Father himself knows that time, that date. But imagine the scene when Jesus comes back to earth with a mighty shout. Are you ready? Are you ready? That can happen any moment, any moment. Here's our tip for the day. The biggest mistake made in the winter time is fishing too fast. Can I tell you, <laughs> I make that mistake a lot of times all throughout the year, not just in the winter time. Fishing too fast, that's right. In the winter time, slow down. Slow, 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 slow down. We're taking orders for our Catch of the Better Life book, so if you wanna order this book, uh, just give us a call at area code 918-457-5115 or go to jimmyhouston.com. Uh, we've sold uh, a lot of books already uh, and they should be in just any day now. We'll start autographing, personalizing those books that you want personalized. If you want autographed, if you want to sign, if you want to personalize to somebody, uh, be sure and tell us that when you order. Be sure and tell us. We can't read your mind. So let us know and I'll be honored. I'll be honored to sign the book for you. Uh, we're so excited about this new book. It's already changing lives and creating a better life for folks. We know because they let us know that. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Weather's getting ready to turn rotten in the south. But it's fantastic today. Get out there and go fishing. And remember, I sure do love you.